Well, we're back. I didn't uh, publish the last video yet, so a couple of videos will be out at the same time, possibly. But uh, we got a couple peripheral things for the computer, um, fans and such, and uh, we got this is what's going in for RAM. It's two sticks of eight gig of eight gig DDR3 RAM, 240 pin, and uh, we'll be looking to get uh, twice this much when it's all said and done. 32 gig of RAM, which there ain't a game out there on the planet right now that requires that much RAM. And this is uh, right on the front, compatible with the Z87 uh, motherboard, which is the motherboard we got. And it's in cool metallic blue, which is the color of our motherboard. Coincidence? Maybe. I don't know. But uh, I can't wait to put that in. Um, some cooling fans, which I'm actually going to put in uh, to the case. And then uh, what I have not unboxed yet, this is the Corsair. H60 liquid cooler, um, and this is what's going to keep our um, Haswell uh, 4770 um, processor. Really cool. Yes, very, very cool. Now, I had some concerns when I got this, but when I ordered it, I was looking very specifically at the, uh, the LGA configuration. And on the website, the Corsair website says that this particular liquid cooler um, works uh, with the um, LGA 1150. Uh, pin configuration, which is the processor um, that we want to get. Uh, let's get this thing open. I should be getting any more sticky crap on my knife. No sticky crap. This is the first Corsair product I've got. paper that must be manuals and such foam egg crate style packaging oh, what do we have now this is supposed to be very low evaporation and maintenance free so I'm guessing the liquid's already in there. There's no filling that has to take place. It's like the fan, 120 millimeter fan comes separately or comes not attached. This will be the bracket uh, that goes in behind the motherboard. So that it will snug up sandwich style and not just drill into the motherboard. Case pins? Oh, that must be to, uh, no, that must be for the liquid cooler itself. Well, that's everything in there. Nothing left in the box. I'm pretty sure that this radiator could keep a um, Geo Metro cool. I mean, it looks, <laughs> at the very least, a transmission cool <clears throat> on, say, a Geo Metro. It comes with a, uh, um, a cooling paste already on this so you don't have to put any on but I've heard um, in comments from people that they put Arctic Silver on anyways um, because um, it has something to be desired <clears throat> and maybe it doesn't have enough I don't know and I haven't got to that bridge yet it has a uh, little cellophane protective on that uh, Corsair I must say it Feel and construction wise, Corsair kind of lives up to its um, reputation. It, it feels really quality. That's pretty neat. And I have a question on the case. I was concerned about this. And we're going to. You got that in shot? Yeah. Set that to the side. All right. This is the 120 millimeter fan that is going to be replaced with this one. But I wanted to see if the radiator would actually clear the mounting <clears throat> for uh, all your PCI slots right there. And 
and it actually looks like it's a perfect fit. All right, <clears throat> now, if you're thinking about getting this case and you want to put uh, a fan in every slot, available slot, this fan along the back side here um, may not take a standard 120 millimeter fan. It's for a 120 millimeter or an 80 millimeter fan, but uh, it isn't, if you put in a regular size 120 millimeter, with the standoffs for the motherboard, you have just barely enough room. It would actually be touching the motherboard, and you're not going to want that. And once you have the bracket <clears throat> for the cooling on there, it's not going to fit anyhow. So we went with this uh, Gelid Solutions uh, Slim 12, um, Slim Solutions or whatever it's called, and uh, in the hopes, this is about as half, <clears throat> half as big depth-wise as a standard 120 millimeter fan. So we're going to mount this on the back. All right, that's just us. There it goes. Okay. And with the standoffs, <clears throat> you got quite a bit of clearance. Of course, these cables will actually have to be routed through this area here where the grommets are. So that isn't its final resting place, but that's good enough. And there's our Coolmaster 120 millimeter fan that's going to complete our chimney. I looked for a Rosewill um, fan on Newegg. Um, same as that, 140 millimeter blue LED um, fan, and there wasn't one available, so I went with Coolmaster. Cool. Oh, we got some plug-in options if we want to either run this off the um, uh, motherboard or if we want to run it directly off the power supply, so that's a nice option there. So we're taking, uh, there's four screws to take out if you want to remove the top. Being very careful because all of your pre-routed uh, a lot of your pre-routed wires are on the top part here. You push down. All right, so you can see how well the sit by side, side by side, they're all standardized, so that shouldn't be no big surprise. So that's pretty much it.